know this is Warlord. What we're going to look at right now is the basics of lighting. Not so much lighting room as just how the new lighting tools work. So let's go ahead and get started with that. What I have here is the lounge project and I've stripped all the lights out of it. Now one thing I like about the new version is the right click menu. But it's kind of hard to use when you have props in the room, especially walls and things like that. Because you don't get that menu up because generally you're going to be on an object. So what you can do is come in and select all of your props at once and lock them. Then make sure you're deselected. Now when you right click, you'll actually get a create. And this way you can start creating your lights if you want to. Like a point light or spotlight or whatever. Now let's take a look at the lighting tools first. We're going to go in to uh, props. And this is something I learned lighting an airport runway the other night. Let's go ahead and put the inlaid light down. This is not something that I really like this room with. It's just to demonstrate how to use one light to control several. So let's go ahead and go over here to multi-duplicate. Kind of line them up a little. We don't have to worry about this being perfect or anything. And as you can see, the way I was lighting the runway was I was just running them like this. And since there were a lot of them, I didn't select them individually. I came in. Selected all of them but one, then hit attach, and attached it to that one. Now you'll see this is one big bounding box, and the great part is the controller for that light controls all those lights now. It doesn't matter how many lights you have. There. So, you want to change colors, you want it to be a broken light, there's not that much to it. So this tells us very quickly that we can use one light to control many lights. Now one thing else that we can do is we can come in here, right click, and just create like a directional light so you can kind of see where things are. And generally what I do is I load a scene up, at least with the way iClone's working now. I've been loading a scene up, then I delete all my lights. After I've got the scene set, then I go in and start lighting. So there's not that much to it. But this is just to show you the basics of how the lighting works. So let's go back in here and let's grab one of these lights out. And right quickly, if you hadn't already gone through this, there's on off, intensity, color. If you want it to be an alert, a fire, or broken, and you also have to turn off or make sure the flash is on. And that's really all there is to the controls. 